Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to make a quick intro, you know, showing my face and saying first of all hello. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys my eyeshadow palette declutter. So I was going through my eyeshadow palettes and I literally have three big ass drawers full of eyeshadows, eyeshadow palettes. Now I wanted to just preface by saying that I am a makeup junkie. I love collecting makeup and I enjoy it. But I feel like there are certain products that I just purchased and I don't care to keep it, you know, even if I'm a collector. Okay, so there are going to be three different categories. First category is um, eyeshadow palettes that I'm going to be selling to you guys. So I'll do the selling of my palettes on my Instagram. So I will leave my Instagram right over here if you guys want to follow me there. The second category I'm going to have is um, palettes that I'm going to be putting in my kit because I'm going to be starting to do makeup on clients. So I want to know that I have a nice amount of eyeshadow palettes to use on them. Um, and then the third category is going to be palettes that I'm either going to be giving to friends or just not really throwing out Just giving to friends because it just it's not worth it to I guess sell but then besides for that It's not things that I would want to sell like I wouldn't feel comfortable with that. You know what I'm saying? So those are the three categories that I'm going to have. I think that's pretty much it I know you guys have been waiting for this video for ages So let's go ahead and get started before I could talk for another seven hours, but yeah, let's go Okay, so let's get started with this drawer. You guys can see it's pretty pretty full um, And the other two drawers are as full so let's tackle this and kick some ass before I do so my nails are just like, you know Chilling and feeling the vibe so in this regard if it bothers you, but let's go ahead and get started Okay, first palette that I have up here is the Lorac mega pro 2 eyeshadow palette So this was one that I believe I used maybe like um, I don't even know probably like three times tops There are some shades in here that are brand new so half of this palette is pretty much new I've used maybe this once or twice this shade a few times I do like it, but I'm not in love with it, and it's definitely not a palette that I reach for a lot. Um, I don't know, it just does not inspire me, you know? But the quality of the shadows are really, really nice. Um, I do feel like it's just sitting here and doing nothing, though, and I feel like somebody else could definitely enjoy. So I'm going to put this in the declutter pile, um, in the selling pile. So goodbye to that. Okay, moving on to this little guy right over here. This is the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat Eyeshadow Palette. You guys know I'm absolutely in love with this. I love using this on those go-to natural days, but then I like spicing things up a bit with this shade right over here. It's like a deepened brownish purpley color, but I love it. The quality is beautiful and it's so small and compact, perfect for traveling. I had this in one of my favorites videos, so I'm definitely not giving it up. This is gonna stay with me. Okay, next palette we have here is the Marvelous Mobs Eyeshadow Palette by Dose of Colors. Um, you basically get five matches in here in purpley tones and I don't know I purchased this full, full for full price initially I was like yeah I'm totally into it but um, I don't find myself using it a lot you know it also is a palette that does not necessarily inspire me and I don't know I feel like it just doesn't go with my skin tone like these specific shades I'm sure it might look beautiful on other skin tones but for me um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the clutter pile in the selling one so this is the color rain queen of hearts eyeshadow palette that's how the palette looks like on the inside. You get a selection of mattes in here and these kind of like crazy shimmer shades. This shade right here has a little bit of like a scratchy feel, but it still is pretty pigmented. I don't know why it does have that feel to it, but this palette is absolutely stunning when it's worn. I just don't wear it. You know, I think I wore it last year during the summertime. I reviewed it and I think after that I used it maybe a few more times and then didn't touch it. So as much as this is absolutely beautiful, I think I'm gonna go ahead and sell it. It was limited edition, so I don't believe you can even get it anymore. If for any reason I do wanna go ahead and pick it up at some point in my life, I will spend the money on you know, on eBay and pick it up. But um, for now, at this point, I'm just kinda like, it's okay. So I'm gonna declutter this. I know this is gonna be a hardcore video, I'm telling you guys, there's no feeling bad. We're just gonna do it, a rip off the band-aid. So I'm gonna put this in the selling declutter pile. Goodbye, colored rain. Next eyeshadow palette that I have here. I'm doing pretty good, right? I am doing pretty good. Okay, this is the Kevin Aquan Electro Pop eyeshadow palette. You get basically a selection of beautiful jewel-toned eyeshadows. Like, they're super, like, saturated and they have a nice amount of pigmentation to them. Plus, they're very vibrant. So I love this. I, it's definitely on a palette that I could use on its own, but to just pop one of these shades on the lids, super, super stunning. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. Um, let's see, okay. I have the Smashbox and Vlada eyeshadow palette. That's how the palette looks like on the inside. I recently just purchased this and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not crazy over it. I could create beautiful looks with it, but 
it's not one that I like gravitate towards, you know, a lot. These two shades are really pretty. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep this because I literally just bought it maybe like a month, month and a half ago, and I want to give it a little bit more of a chance. Okay, I'm giving you a chance. So I'm gonna keep it for now. But if for some reason I don't want to use it, I will uh, have it in my next declutter video. So I'm gonna keep this guy for now. Next thing we have is the Too Faced Clover Eyeshadow Palette. This is one that I'm definitely gonna keep mainly for the packaging because you know you guys know Clover is my son. But then also I really do like these shades in here. This one right here has a little bit of hard pan to it, but you get a selection of neutral shades and then pops of colors as well. And I really do enjoy using this pretty much any time of the year. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. I love it. Okay, next eyeshadow palette I have here is the Tartlet Toasted Eyeshadow Palette. You guys know I'm obsessed with this. I love this. I use this so much times. I mainly love this shade right over here, but I like it because it's it's like a great selection of warm tone shades, which we all have thousands of, but you know what I'm saying? Um, like I could go very light or a bit more heavier and dramatic and these shadows blend out so beautifully. They're so soft and pigmented, so I cannot part, way with, part ways with this. I'm keeping this little guy. To, okay, moving on to the next palette. This is the um, Dose of Colors Desi and Katie Little Quad. And I do really like this. I don't find myself using it a ton, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my kit. I think that this would be a really great little uh, quad to use on anyone's lids to just give a bright ass pop of color, you know, and intensity. So this is gonna go in the kit pile. Okay, moving on to the next eyeshadow palette I have here. This is the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner eyeshadow palette. Um, the packaging is beautiful. It opens up just like that. This was part of the holiday 2017 um, collection, yeah. And so when I purchased it, it was kind of on a whim. I used, I think, a few shades, but some of these shades here are honestly brand new. Um, there are a lot of palettes by Cavendi that I adore, and I do like this one, but I don't care for it in a way to actually keep it. You know, like, I know it's like a collector's item, and I do want to keep it for that, but I don't care to keep it for that. Do you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Like, other palettes that she released in the past years, I'm like, yeah, I need it. I'm keeping it. I don't even give a shit if I use it or not. But with this, it doesn't, it's not one that I'm like, yeah, I want it. Like, I'm just like, whatever, it's fine, you know? So, with that being said, if that all of that made sense to you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this, um, put it in my declutter selling pile. But, you know, most of these shades are pretty much brand new. I probably swatched and used a few of the shades once or twice. So, there's that. I think I'm going to say goodbye. Bye, baby. The packaging is beautiful. Okay. Next palette we're going to go and tackle is this one. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Eye... No, what? Too Faced Chocolate Gold Bar Eyeshadow Palette. This is one that I really, really love. I love how there's a few matte shades in here and then great lit shades. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and keep this. I love this. Okay, moving on to the next eyeshadow palette. I have the Persona Identity Eyeshadow Palette. I purchased this during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty event. I think I've used this once. I do wanna go ahead and do a Get Ready With Me video using this. So that should be up hopefully in the next you know few weeks or so. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep it because I didn't give it a fair chance to see if I'm really digging it or not. So I'm gonna keep that and I really, really like the colors. You know what I'm saying? So yes, baby. Okay, what else? Ah, I don't want to go through these. I don't want to go through these. Okay. Next palettes I have here are from the Bomb. These, this is the Meat Matte Nude Eyeshadow Palette. That's how it looks, and that's how the palette looks like on the inside. I mainly love this palette for this shade, this one, and this one, and maybe this. But everything else, I don't find myself like I don't find that I use. So with that being said, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. You know, I do like it, but I don't find that I use it enough to keep. You know, makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Next palette that we have here is the Meat Matte Trimoni Eyeshadow Palette. And with this one also, I like this one a bit more than the other one because I use these shades. I use this a lot. This one, um, I don't know. This one is a bit tougher for me and the black is really good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I am thinking... Okay, I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna keep this, okay? I'm gonna keep it for now. If I don't use it, then I'll declutter it in my next video, but I'm gonna keep that one. Moving on to the next eyeshadow palette that I have here. This is the Too Faced Natural Love Eyeshadow Palette. This is one that I know I'm for sure putting in my kit. I think that a lot of these shades would look stunning on so many different skin tones. You can go very natural or glam with this, and I can potentially do bride's makeups with this if I choose to do so, but this is gonna go in my kit. I think it's gonna work really, really well there. Plus, it's a huge variety of colors, so it's gonna be bomb. All right, next palette that I have is this one. This is the Lorac um, Unzipped Desert Sunset Eyeshadow Palette. Um, this is also one that I purchased. I think I used twice and, you know, went into the drawers and never saw the daylight ever again, you know? So this is one that I'm going to go ahead and declutter, put in the selling pile. It's pretty much brand new. Like I mentioned, I think I used it like twice. Okay, 
Next, um, I have this. This is the Too Faced little palette that came in one of their holiday collections. I am thinking I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I think I maybe swatched these three. And I wanted to keep it, you know, in case I want to use it for traveling, but I have a lot of traveling, like, small baby palettes, so I don't know if it's necessary, you know? I don't know. I keep looking at it, and I'm like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I'm like, no, okay, no, I'm sorry. Bye. Next. Um, this is the Urban Decay Jean-Michel Best Kit uh, palette. This is stunning. I really, really love this. Um, it was limited edition, so you can't get your hands on it anymore. <sighs> it's stunning, but I don't find myself using it a lot. This gold here is everything times 10. Whoa. And then this shade also, it's just super stunning. I'm gonna get rid of it though. I think that would be the right thing to do for myself because it's just sitting here and doing nothing. Hopefully somebody else will enjoy it. And then I love the packaging though. I'm, I'm like crazy over it. So I'm gonna put it in the declutter selling pile. Okay, next, what do we have? Okay, so this is the Kylie Cosmetics Take Me On Vacation eyeshadow palette. Again, this was one that I used, I think, once or twice and never touched it again. Some of the shades in here are pretty new. Most of them are. I did use the brush like once or twice, so the brush is still in there. Um, I'm going to clean it though, so don't think you're getting it in a disgusting way. But I'm going to go ahead and put this in the declutter selling pile because I just don't find myself using it too much. There's a lot of neutral shades in here, which I have a lot of. The only few shades I really love is this one and then this one maybe, but I'm not going to keep the palette just for that. You know, I don't think that makes any sense, so saying goodbye to this guy next eyeshadow palette that we have here is the graveyard swamp queen eyeshadow palette um this is one that i'm gonna get rid of as well i really really liked it initially when it came out i think that the shades these eyeshadows were pretty easy to work with i like that the face powders were very vibrant and very much so there and this highlighter is stunning the brush is still in here um and i do like that you know bunny collaborated with tarte and created this but um, this is one that is a collector's piece. I don't care to, to keep it though. Like it doesn't like it doesn't make me like oh my god giddy or like happy like oh my god I need to keep it in my collection, you know, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that put it in the selling declutter pile Next up we have the Kylie's diary eyeshadow palette and you guessed it I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this you guys know I'm doing so well, right? I totally did not think I was gonna do so well But you basically get a selection of eyeshadows here and two blushes um, these eyeshadows are brand new. I think I just swatched this one and I swatched these blushes So you guys can see I don't I didn't really touch it or use it, you know, and I don't like I don't gravitate towards this It doesn't motivate me. It doesn't inspire me nothing So I know somebody else would absolutely love this because it was limited edition the packaging is bombs away You know and I want to keep it like for that because it is freaking cute. You know what I'm saying, but I think it's time to say goodbye. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. Okay. Bye Next palette, we have the Crown Glam Metals Eyeshadow Palette. This came in my BoxyCharm, I don't want to break it, a few months ago, two, three months ago. And I think it looks pretty good. I don't know. Let me swatch a few. One second. They swatch very nicely. Like, they're very pigmented. They're beautiful. Um, I feel like I need to wipe my hands now. One second. Contemplating, though, like, what I want to do with this. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid, get rid of it. Put it in the declutter. Another declutter selling pile. So, goodbye to that. Okay, next palette. <laughs> this is the Urban Decay Pulp Fiction Eyeshadow Palette. I purchased this a few years back. And I purchased it because I wanted to collect it. But this went with this one also. I think I swatched these once. Haven't used it on my eyes. The brush here is actually still brand new. It's in this little, little plasticky thing here. Um, ugh, shoot, it's like I'm thinking and thinking. Like when I see these palettes and open them up, I'm like, yeah, I kind of need it. But I didn't touch this in like over a year, you know? So... Just close your eyes and say goodbye. Bye. Okay, moving on to the next palette that I have here. This is the Clinique eyeshadow palette. It actually is like an eyeshadow palette, a face palette, a lip palette, all that jazz. One of my closest friends uh, picked this up for me, so I want to keep it because of that specific reason. That's how the palette looks like on the inside. You get powders here, these eyeshadows, and then lip products as well. And so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. I have to go ahead and use it though. Next palette I have here is this one. This is the Tale as Old as Time Eyeshadow Palette by Lorac. I purchased this um, mainly for the reason that it's a collector's piece. Um, I, I love Beauty and the Beast. Like, I really, really do. It's actually one of my favorite Disney movies. But with that being said, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to be strong. I'm going to do it. So hopefully somebody else will enjoy the clutter selling pile. Okay, next palette that I have here is this one. This is the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition Eyeshadow Palette and like face palette as well. 
That's how the palette looks like on the inside. I do like the eyeshadows. I'm not crazy over them. The highlighters in here are bomb though. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. I do wanna go ahead and start using it again. Next palette that we have here, woo! is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe eyeshadow palette. This is one that's I'm, I'm for sure keeping, like no question about it. I really, really do like it. Um, I think that the metallic sheets could be a bit of a pain in the ass to work with at times, but the mattes in here are stunning. And usually when I play with this palette, the looks do come out pretty, pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Next palette that I have here is the um, Tarte Make Waves and, what is this? Make Waves and Mermaid, no, Be A Mermaid and Make Waves eyeshadow palette. This is one that I'm gonna keep. I actually recently just purchased this. Um, I do like the selection of neutral shades here and then the, these pops as well. They're very, very easy shadows to work with and um, they do create beautiful looks, so I'll keep that. Okay, <laughs> this is one that I'm for sure, for sure keeping. Even though I don't tend to use it a ton, let me open it up. I do really, really like dying crazy, like, oh my God, love it, you know? Um, I mainly like to use this shade right here. This is also one of my favorites. The uh, neutral shades in the middle are so freaking good. Such a pity that this was limited edition because I think it would be one of the best sellers from Kat Von D, you know, if it wouldn't be limited edition. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this next. I have a few of my ABH eyeshadow palettes over here. Let's go through these. Um, this is the ABH um, self-made palette. Yep, that's this. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this. It's so hard for me to do. It's so, so hard. It's so hard for me to do, but I think I'm gonna go and just like rip off the band-aid and do it because I love collecting the ABH palettes, but I, I I think I used this three times, so. Bye, baby, bye. Please don't cry. Okay, then I have the Modern Renaissance eyeshadow palette by ABH. This is a palette that I actually don't really, really love, but I actually recently started playing around with it and I do like the looks that I come up with. The only shade I hate is this one, Vermer. It looks, it just looks nasty on my eyes. So I stopped using that and I focused on other shades in here and I do like how the eyeshadow usually looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Next palette that I have here is the Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette. This is one that you guys know I'm obsessed with. Totally not parting ways with this. I'm keeping this 100%. Um, still contemplating if I'm gonna use this palette for my brother's wedding, but I adore it, so it's staying in my life for like ever, you know? Next palette I have is the World Traveler Eyeshadow Palette. This is stunning. Stunning. I think I'm gonna put this in my kit. I think I could create really cool looks, and actually my friend wants me to create a blue look for her that I'm gonna do next week. Probably going to pop this on her lids. I'll put my um, makeup Instagram page here so you guys can follow me there if you want to check out the looks I create. But that's going to go in my kit. Um, next palette that I have here is the ABH uh, Prism Palette. I love this as well. So stunning, so vibrant, pigmented. I create such like sexified looks with this. It's on sale at Sephora at the current moment, so you can get it at a great deal, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it because I really do like it. Okay, and then the final palette that we have in this drawer, I also have this like thingy here, which is like whatever. This is the Metal Matte Eyeshadow Palette by Kat Von D. I love this. I'm going to go ahead and keep it. I think it's super stunning. I love all the matte shades, the metallic shades, just so pretty, this blue, the silver, everything. I love you. So this is definitely staying in my life. You are not parting ways with me. Okay, so now let's go ahead and fill up the drawer and see like if it's stuffed still or if it kind of has some space. Um, and then also at the end, I'm gonna share with you guys what I decluttered and what I'm potentially going to sell to you guys if you're interested, um, what I'm putting in my kit and what I'm going to keep. So let's put everything back now. Okay, so I put everything back. You guys can see there's definitely more space. I have so much more room here to put a bunch more palettes. It's pretty empty in the back here. Like there's space, I can see, I can breathe. It's like, you know, movable. We're good, we did very well. Okay, let's move on to the next drawer. Okay, so we have this drawer right over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First palette I have up is the Starlight Palette by um, Makeup Forever. I really, really like this as like a one eyeshadow type of look. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. I really adore it, especially this shade right here. This one, for the summer, it would be perfection. So, yes, babe. There's that. Um, let's see. Okay, this is the Pat McGrath La Vie and Rose Eyeshadow Palette. I mentioned this a few times. I think that this palette is nice. I'm not beyond, beyond crazy over it, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my kit. I think I'll be able to create really nice looks with this on clients. So, kit, it goes. Next eyeshadow palette that I have here is the Too Faced Natural Eyes eyeshadow palette. Um, let me see. 
I'm gonna put this in my kit. I feel like these shades are really pretty, but they just look really off on me because they're, I don't know, they're cool tones, which I do like cool tone shades, but they look dirty on me, you know? So hopefully it's gonna look nice on different skin tones. I'm sure it will. Okay, next palette that I have here is this one. This is a Makeup Forever eyeshadow palette. This was part of the holiday collection 2015, I think. Um, it's really, really pretty. But I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it, put it in the declutter selling pile. Just had it for a while and I don't find myself touching it, so it's a waste. Okay, next palette that we have is this one. This is the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I think I literally use this three times in my entire life. Um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep this though. And if by the next declutter, if by the next declutter video I don't, I didn't touch it, I will declutter it then. But I'm gonna keep this for now because it's such a classic, you know. Okay, next palette that I have is this one. This is the Mac and Sharon Osborne palette. Um, oh man, this is tough. I don't use this a lot, but I kept it because of the you know Sharon Osborne collection. Um, you can't get it anymore. It was limited edition, obviously. But I think I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna get rid of it. I think it's time. Yep. Rid cell. Next, what do we have here? Okay, this is the Clarins eyeshadow palette in, what is this? Um, there's like a fly here. Lovely rose. Really pretty actually. I think I'm gonna put this in my kit. I just, I wanna create the beautiful springy summery look with this. I could so see that looking amazing, you know? Like very fresh and like glowy. Yeah, kit. Okay, next palette that I have here is this one. This is the Urban Decay Naked 3 eyeshadow palette. Huh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna say goodbye to this. I just don't use it enough. I don't use it like at all. And it was one that I really liked for a pretty long time, but I haven't touched it in a while. So I'm gonna put it on the declutter selling pile. Okay, next palette that I have here is this one. This is the Baby Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. I really, really, really love this, by the way. It's like one of my favorites. Let me zoom you guys in a teensy bit more. One second. Yeah, so I love this. I am going to get go ahead and keep it. I love the small, compact size of it, and it's so convenient, you know? So, yeah. Okay, next, um, this is the Sleek eyeshadow palette. This is one, honestly, that I'm keeping because of this shade, because it's so stunning. Mmm... I'm gonna put this in my kit though. I think that there's a lot of vibrant lit shades in here and I can create really nice looks with this. So, kit it goes. And it's also really affordable. Okay, next palette that we have. Let's see, like I don't wanna touch some of them because I don't know what I wanna do with that. Okay, this is the Hidden Treasures Eyeshadow Palette by Dose of Colors. This was one of my favorites for such a long time. I pretty much use this one a ton. Ruby was a shade that I use a lot. The shade Locket is like seriously perfection. <sighs> this was limited edition at the time, but I think that it's actually permanent, which, you know, I don't know why brands do that so many times, but whatever, it is what it is. I'm gonna get rid of it. Honestly, if they didn't bring this back and it was a limited edition, I would most probably keep it, but if I really, really, really want it, I can just go ahead and just repurchase a new one for full price, but I think I'm gonna say goodbye, bye bye little one. Moving on. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Eyeshadow Palette. I love this, this is like a go-to summer staple for me. I'm gonna keep that, I don't have a lot to say. It smells amazing and I adore it, so. You're staying with mom, you're staying with mommy. Um, next palette that I have here is this one. This is the Pure and Boxy Charm Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I think that this palette is okay. It's not like too dark for it, but it's not shitty at all either. I got it on my boxy charm. I think I swatched it there and never used it. So, gonna declutter this. Selling pile, it goes. Next palette, we have the Carly Bible um, Deluxe Edition. No, this is not Deluxe. This is just a Carly Bible palette, okay? Um, this is how the palette looks like on the inside. Just don't use it. I don't know. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This one's hard for me. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Because I think it's not available anymore. So I'm going to keep it for now. Okay, I'm going to keep it. Don't kill me. Okay, the next palette we have. Let's see. Let's see. Let's do some Too Faced palettes. Okay, this is going to be so hard for me. I don't know. So hard. Okay. Too Faced um, Peanut Butter and Honey Eyeshadow Palette. Oh man, I want to keep this for the packaging, you know? Mmm, don't do this to me. Don't do it. Okay, I'm keeping it, okay? I'm keeping it. I want it, I want it, I want it in my life. I'm keeping this as well. Really like this um, 
I love it. I love it. I think it's a really great um, basic neutral palette, but it's very easy shadows to work with. And I love peanut butter and jelly. It's like my favorite go-to food. So this baby's staying with me. And then I have these two palettes. This is the totally cute eyeshadow palette. I decorated this myself. I love it. I'm such an artist. Um, and that's how the palette looks like on the inside. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep this because of the packaging, okay? Yeah, that's going to be me right now. <laughs> and then I have the Sugar Pop eyeshadow palette as well, keeping for the packaging. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. Those were just hard for me. Too Faced is, is so hard for me. Okay, then I have this Morphe eyeshadow palette. And I think I'm going to use this in my kit. I don't have such shades like or a lot of these type of shades. And I think I just swatched this. I didn't actually use it on my eyes even. So... Uh, I'm going to use this in my kit though. Hopefully it's going to perform nicely. I think it's great if you want like a more of a cool toned look or if the client wants more of a cool toned look. You know what I'm saying? Okay, the next thing we have is this. This is the Marc Jacobs The Lover Eyeshadow Palette. This used to be one of my favorites. I think it was limited edition, but I think I'm going to get rid of it. I use it a nice amount of times. It's great if you want to go for more of a natural look. Um... But I don't find myself reaching for it anymore. These pink shades are stunning. Just regular basic go-to shades that work and perform beautifully. But I think somebody else would enjoy this more. So this is going to go in the um, declutter sale pile. I, I love it though. I love it. But I think it's time. Is it? I don't know. Okay, I can't think. Okay, yeah, fine. Bye. Man, I hope I'm not going to cry after this video. You know what I'm saying? This is the other Marc Jacobs palette. This is in Smart Tutorial. That's how this palette looks like on the inside. I've used this once or twice. I do really like it. The pigmentation is bomb. The quality is beautiful. I'm going to put this in my kit though because this is a great um, silvery shade. And I'm doing a blue look the next um, one of the days next week on a client. So I'm, I think I'm going to use this mainly. So kit it goes. Okay, next palette that I have here is this one. This is the Urban Decay Naked Basics Palette. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. I don't find myself using it too, too much. And it's just sitting and doing nothing here. So, bye, baby. Okay, next palette that I have here. These are the Kylie Cosmetics uh, palettes. The first ones that she released. This is the bronze eyeshadow palette. Um, and this is the burgundy. One second, one second. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think I'm going to keep the burgundy and get rid of the bronze in the selling pile and I'm going to keep this. Okay, next we have these two Smashbox palettes. This is part of the holiday collection this past year. We have this one which is in the shade, which in which is in the style Dawn in Decked Out. Yeah? No, they're both Dawn in Decked Out. Whatever. This is this one. Um, that's how the palette looks like on the inside. It's a basic neutral palette. Super pretty. I forgot how this one looks. One second. A minute. Yeah, I think that this one was limited edition. You're killing me here. You're killing me. <laughs> Stop it. Um, okay. okay, I made my decision. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Put it in the declutter selling pile. This is the cool tone palette. I don't know if I'm going to have a heart attack now. Oh, no. I just punched this in the face. One second. She's still good. She's still good. I'm going to keep this. I know I have a lot of shades like this. I just I just want it. Okay, I just want it. Okay, next. Ooh, let's do these. These are the Tarte palettes. Okay, okay, okay. First of all, I'm going to for sure keep this one. This is one of my favorites. I love it. Great lit shades. And then one matte shade that you can use in the crease. Keeping that baby. I love it, like I mentioned. And then we have these Rainforest of the Sea palettes. Um, okay, this was the first one that I bought, I remember. Um, but I think I'm going to get rid of it. I don't use it too, too much. I think somebody else would really enjoy. So declutter, selling, pile. Wow, that was fast. You see what I'm saying? Some of the palettes I'm like, yes, buy. And some of them I'm dying over. This is the third edition. And honestly, I think I'm going to put this in my highlighter drawer. Um, because I think I'd be able to use it as a highlighter palette mainly. And I can use it on clients too. So it's going to go in my highlighter drawer. I'm going to consider it as that. So I'm going to keep this. Then we have this one, which is, I guess, my least favorite. Mm, this shade is really pretty. It's like a gun metal color, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Selling declutter pile. Yay! I'm so proud of myself. So proud of myself. <laughs> I hope I'm not going to be regretful though. Okay, this is the Just Peachy Matte Eyeshadow Palette from Too Faced. Um, love this. I had it in one of my um, favorites videos a few months back. Love it. Amazing quality. Creates beautiful looks. Smells bomb and is very cute. So I need to keep that. 
Oh man, what else do I have? Okay, okay, let's do this one. This is the Electric Urban Decay Palette. I'm gonna keep this. I want it, I like it. Colors are stunning. Great if you wanna do a very fun, bright look and I need to start using it again, but I do like it, so I'm gonna keep that. Um, okay, this is one that I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of. This is the MAC Times 9 Purple Eyeshadow Palette. This is really nice, actually, but I don't find that I use it too often. I think I used it last about a year and a half ago. Um, you could create a look just using this, so that's great. I'm going to put this in my declutter selling pile. Um, and what did I want to say? I forgot, but I'm going to put it there. <laughs> okay, next thing that I have. Oh, okay, fine. This is the NARS Narcissist palette. Um, let me just swatch a few of these. Pretty pigmented. They do look really, really nice on the eyes. This was limited edition. I'm gonna get rid of it though. I don't find myself using it too much. It's the dual intensity eyeshadows and each one individually costs like I think 20 bucks. So this is, this was a steal when I purchased it. I used these two a few times. Maybe this one once, this one, this one a little bit and this one as well. I think this one's brand new, um, but I think somebody else would enjoy it more. So declutter, selling, pile, goodbye, NAR, dual intensity. They should release another one of those though. You know, I think it's a good value. Oh, what else? I don't know. Okay, this is the ColourPop Golden State of Mind eyeshadow palette. I'm not even going to put this in any declutter piles. This is going to go in the either garbage or if one of my friends want it, they can just take it because you can see oils like seeping through and it's just, I don't feel comfortable giving it to anyone that, you know, like that I don't really like know personally. I just, I wouldn't feel comfortable with that. So um, either garbage or you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Okay, this is the Lorac Pro Eyeshadow Palette. This used to be one of my favorites. Honestly, not so much anymore. You guys can see I hit pen on the shade black and the shade taupe. Um, but I'm going to keep it still. It's easy palette to use. I know what kind of looks I like when I use this. And it's it's still good. Like, I like it. But I don't, like, run after it as much as I used to. But I'm going to keep that for now. Okay, next I have the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Eyeshadow Palette. This was one that had so much controversy around it, but I'm going to keep it because of the collector in me. And this is one that I want to make an exception for, you know? So, keeping that. What else? I have these two Tartlet palettes. We have this one right over here that has a bunch of, like, cool tone shades. I'm going to put this in my kit. I don't seem to use it a lot on myself, so kit it goes. Mm, and then I have this one, which is the Tartlet in Bloom Eyeshadow Palette. And I think I'm gonna put this in my kit as well. Okay, next palette that I have here are these two. These are the Gorgeous Cosmetics palettes. Um, this is how one of the palettes look. This is one that they actually sent to me, as well as this one. I'm gonna keep this one because I do like these two shades. They're really, really nice. And then you have these gorgeous shades as well, so yeah. But I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. Um, I'm not gonna go ahead and sell it because I don't feel right about that, but I'm probably gonna give this to one of my friends. I don't use it, so gonna say goodbye this is the urban decay smoked eyeshadow palette this is one that is very sentimental to me so i probably will keep it for those reasons and yeah i don't want to get rid of it I, I do like it i think it's pretty and this shade is so nice for a cool tone look you know okay that's gonna stay with mom all right, then I have the ColourPop Semi-Precious Eyeshadow Palette. This is one that I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. I used it, I think, once or twice, but I'm not too, too into it, and I don't find myself reaching for it a lot, so I'm going to put it in the declutter selling pile. Okay, next palette. We have this. This is the Too Faced palette that they released during the holidays. This is one that I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. I think I maybe just swatched this and maybe used it on my eyes once. I'm not sure, but they released this about three years back, but... I wanted to keep it initially because of the packaging. It's cute, small, compact, you know, but I never, like, really use it. So, declutter sale. Okay, next, I have this. This is the MAC um, Love in the Glades. Uh, yeah, Love in Glades eyeshadow palette. I purchased this last year for, from their summer collection, but I, I don't know. I think I'm going to get rid of it. I created really beautiful looks with this, but um, I'm ready to pass it on. So, declutter selling pile, and I'm very proud of myself. Okay, next palette that I have is this one. This is the City Mini Eyeshadow Palette by Maybelline. Um, I purchased this, I think I used it once or twice. I'm not crazy, crazy over it. I do like this shade and this, this shade. Um, but you know what? I think I'm going to keep it for maybe like a drugstore look to kind of give it its last chance, you know? But So yeah, I'm going to keep that. Um, then I have this palette right over here. This is the NYX Ultimate like palette basically oh, obviously you got your blues purples these shades and then these i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this put it in the selling pile and um hopefully somebody else would enjoy you know actually this shade is really pretty shit it's so nice okay whatever bye okay we're almost almost done here we have the Vizart 
um, golden hour eyeshadow palette that I purchased during the holidays. Let's see how this looks. I forgot, actually. I really enjoyed it during the holidays, though. Oh, yeah, that's how the palette looks like on the inside. It's really pretty. Mm. It's really pretty. But I don't touch it often. I'm not going to lie. I think I'm going to put it in the declutter selling pile. So goodbye. I think it was limited edition. I'm not sure. Um, but it's a great palette mainly because you can use it on its own. You can create light looks and dramatic looks too. And it's it's really great quality. But I'm going to get rid of it because I don't find that I use it too, too much. Okay. I'm doing so well. I'm that proud of myself. Okay. Next palette that I have here is some Wet n Wild. I wouldn't sell this because this was like you know, three bucks or something. But I'm going to keep this because... I don't know. I want to keep it, you know? No reason, really. Just keeping. Um, next, I have this. This is the City Mini Palette by um, um, Maybellineo. I didn't like this, and I think it's going to go on my pile of products that I regret purchasing. So, actually, that's going to go there. Okay, the next palette that I have here is the um, um, Essence All About Bronze Eyeshadow Palette. This is okay. I use this in a get ready with me video. I'm gonna keep it. I do kind of like it. I'm not obsessed, but it's not like bad. Like it's good if you want to go for an old drugstore look. So I'm gonna keep that. Okay. Next palette that I have here is the Too Faced Glitter Bomb Eyeshadow Palette. I purchased this for full price um, when it released initially, and I think this is also a really great palette to use as a one shadow type of look type of palette. You know? Let me see. Yeah, they are glitter infused, so if you like that, you might like this. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and. Keep it. Yes, I'm gonna keep it. I'm thinking if I want to put it in my in my kit. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Yeah, why not? Let me put it in my kit. Okay, we're almost done here. We have these two Coastal Sense eyeshadow palettes. I honestly didn't even have a chance to use these. I don't know how they perform or how they work. I'm gonna keep them because I still didn't give them a chance, and it would be a waste for me to just get rid of it. But those are those Coastal Sense sent this to me, so I'm gonna keep that for now. I have the I love. Sarahi um, palette. I think that this sleeve is actually the wrong one for it. Yeah, this one is for the cheeky palette. This is this is the actual saucy palette. Um, yeah. Oh, this shadow. Like, look at this. Oh my god, the shadow actually fell out. One second. Yeah, I can't. I can't take it out now, but it fell out, so it's kind of like crumbly, you know? I don't know. Whatever, I don't know what to do with this. It's actually brand new. I haven't even swatched them. So this is brand new. I think that this is brand new. This is new and this one fell out. So whatever, but... <sighs> um... Mm, no comment. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna keep it for now. I don't know, I'm gonna keep it for now. I don't know, whatever. It's not like something I'm dying over, but we'll keep this for now. I have the NYX Ultimate Bright Eyeshadow Palette. I really like this when I go for a very like bold, bright look. So I'm gonna keep this guy. I used to use it a lot last year. This is the Too Faced um, Chocolate Gold, no, Chocolate Bar Palette. This was one of my first Too Faced palettes. It does have um, a special place in my heart. I don't tend to use it too often, but I am still gonna keep it because of sentimental reasons. Um, and then I have the Urban Decay Back to Walk palette. I purchased this. I don't even believe that I used it. So I'm still going to give it a chance. I know that there were like terrible reviews on this, but that's how the palette looks like on the inside. You get face products. You get this mirror. Oh, yeah, I don't want to break anything or kill anything. And then this a selection of shadows in here. So it's still pretty new. That's why it's in its box. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Let's go ahead and put everything back and see if the drawer has some extra space like the other drawer that we filled up. So one second. Okay, so this is how the drawer looks. Definitely much better. I can move my hands around. There's some space. And maybe I'll be able to maybe, um, maybe I'll be able to maybe uh, put everything in two drawers as opposed to using three bigger drawers. That's, that's possibly the goal at the end. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. But that's how it looks after um, I decluttered. And once again, here's this drawer. I think I did a good job in this one. Okay, let's move on to the third and final drawer. Drawer. Okay, so this is the third and final drawer. Hopefully the sun is not too annoying on the palettes. I think it looks good. Okay, let's get started. You guys can see it's pretty, pretty full. So we're going to... This is hardcore. Okay, Urban Decay Naked um, Original Palette. Keeping sentimental reasons. This is my first high-end palette ever, ever, ever. I saved my ass's money for this. And I can't get rid of it. Okay, this is one that I'm going to get rid of. This is one that I'm going to put in the selling pile. This is the Beauty Killer Eyeshadow Palette. I think I use this, yeah, I only use this once. I use mainly this shade right here and this one. Some of these are actually brand new. I purchased this like two years back because of the hype and everything and I don't really know what I think of Jeffree Star in general so 
I don't use his palette anyway, so I don't care to get rid of it. I still don't know what my thoughts are on him per se, so I don't know if I want to support necessarily. So um, that's where I stand. I'm kind of in the middle, but I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of, of this uh, selling pile and goodbye. I actually have two other palettes that are not here. Give me one second. Actually, three palettes that I didn't have in my drawers because these were palettes that I was, you know, currently using. This is the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. Love this. Did a look with this. Obsessed. My babe. Need. Love. Keep. Next. This is the uh, Sephora Pro Warm Eyeshadow Palette. I love this. I've used this on clients already. It's amazing. It applies super, super nicely. So I'm going to keep this um, either in my drawers or put it in my kit. But it's just, it's really good. So I love that. Keeping for now in my life. Yeah, okay. Then I have this one. This is the Sephora Pro um, Editorial Palette. I did a review and comparison video with this. I do really, really like it. And it's a great palette to go to if I want to go for a bright ass look. So I'm going to keep that. Plus, it was so expensive. And I want to get more use out of it, you know? This is the Venice XL Eyeshadow Palette by Lime Prime. Also, one of the best palettes like of life. It has great... Oh, there's grass here. I just took a picture of this outside. But this is one of um, the best like purpley... Not purpley. More like pinky toned eyeshadow palettes. Super pretty. I think it would look so flattering on so many different skin tones. So I'm going to keep that. Next palette that I have here is this one. This is the Lorac Pro Original Palette they released. Um... I think I swatched a few of these shades once, but probably 90% of the shades in here are brand new. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this, uh, put it in the selling pile. I just don't use it, and I think somebody else would enjoy it more than I do. So this is saying goodbye to me. That goes there. Okay, next palette that I have is the Jean-Michel Biscuit palette. This one is in the colorful version. <sighs> I love this. I really, really do, but I don't tend to use it too much. I think I'm going to close my eyes and just get rid of that declutter selling pile so buy um i have the smashbox full explo explosion full explosion <laughs> full exposure eyeshadow palette i still didn't have a chance to actually use this on my eyes or maybe i just used it once or swatched it not sure but i'm gonna keep this because i got it during the ultra 21 days of beauty event and i still want to play around with that um the nudes the 24k nudes eyeshadow palette by the uh, maybelline i really like the shade but Mm, I don't tend to use this a lot, so declutter, possibly so. Okay, next palette that I have is this one. This is the Baked Browns by Dose of Colors. This one I actually really like more than the mauve one. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this. I really do like it. I have the um, Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, and this one has like those few warmer toned eyeshadows. I'm going to go ahead and declutter this, um, put it in the selling pile. I don't tend to use that. I have, woo, a camera just moved. Um, let's not talk about that for the second. Ooh, okay. I want to um, talk about this. This is the Dose of Colors Eyes Scream Eyeshadow Palette. I liked this initially when it came out, but I haven't used it in such a long time. And I don't, I don't feel inspired by it anymore. I don't like go crazy over it. I don't like love, love, love it. So I'm going to put it on the declutter selling pile. Hopefully one of you guys would enjoy this. The packaging is bomb, like freaking cute. Ice cream is like my favorite food, so... You know it's hard for me to get rid of this, but I think um, it's the right choice for now. Um, what else? Okay. The ColourPop and Amanda Steele eyeshadow palette. I really did not like this. I think the shadows worked super, super poorly. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. I should have decluttered it ages ago. I'll put it in the declutter selling pile if any of you guys are interested in that. Maybe one of you guys would like it, but I did not. Um, this is going to go in the declutter selling pile as well. This was $99. I don't know what I was thinking, but you know what I mean, right? <laughs> I don't know. It hurts me to give this away because it was it was so expensive, but um, I think it's time. Um, hopefully, one of you guys will enjoy this. I'll put it in the declutter selling pile. This was part of the 2015 collection, I believe. Okay. Next palette that I have is this one. This is the MAC and Jeremy Scott eyeshadow palette. It opens up just like this. Love the concept. Love the design. I think it's super freaking adorable. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this one. I think I'm going to go ahead and put it in the declutter selling pile. Try to sell it. If I sell it, that's great. If not, then, I don't know. I'll take it from there. I don't know if this is going to be everyone's vibe. But I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. Okay. This is the Kylie Holiday 2015 palette declutter. Um, sale pile. I think I swatched one or two shades and most of these are actually brand new. So, yay! Declutter. 
I have both of these um, Wet n Wild palettes. Gonna keep both of them. I do enjoy those, especially the mattes in them. In there, they're great. I have the Too Faced White Peaches palette. This is one that I'm gonna get rid of. I don't tend to use this a lot. I like the um, warmer tone palette better than this one. That's how this one looks right, just like that. I used this a few times. I did do a review and swatch video on this. Um, I still have the box, so declutter sale. This is the Mac and Kelly Osborne little quad. This was limited edition. I purchased it for the reason that it was limited edition, but I think I'm kind of over it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the clutter pile. Okay. Oh, I think I'm doing pretty good. Okay, then I have this Tarte holiday palette. Um, I really do like this. I just think it's pretty bulky and I don't tend to use it too, too often. Plus it was limited edition. You have your four rows of mattes. I mean, your four rows of new, um, eh, warm shades and four rows of cooler tone shades. I really do like it though. I think it's a really good one. You have your blushes here, a highlighter. And then in this little like thingy, you have like an eyeliner, lip product, and mascara. So I'm gonna get rid of this declutter sale pile. Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. I use this a few times, not a lot at all. This blue is absolutely stunning and so is this gold, but I'm not gonna keep it just for that. This pink is beautiful too. Um, let me see, it's pretty, but I'm gonna declutter. Hey, I'm doing pretty good. Um, I have the Too Faced Best Year Ever eyeshadow towel. This is one I'm gonna keep. Adore this, love it. Oh my God, it's like broken. One second. See what happens when you just stuff stuff. You just, things start breaking. But I love this. It's such a good one. I wish they would make it permanent. It's, it, was, it was amazing. One of the best holiday palettes ever, so I'm gonna keep that. I have the Lorac Mega Pro 4 eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this, get rid of it. This is one that I used a few times. Some of these shades are actually brand new. I didn't get to every single shade. I used this blue, which is so, so, so freaking satanning. But I think it's time to say goodbye. So I'll see you around the corner. Um, I have two ABH palettes here. This is the Master Palette by Mario. You know, this was one of my favorites for a very, very long time. But you know, I'm ready to depart with this. It's fine. I'm good. I think I'll be fine. Declutter. This is a hard choice for me, but I'm going to do it. So I'm going to say goodbye to that. Um, ABH Artist Palette. This is one that I'm going to declutter as well. I love collecting ABH palettes, but yeah, this is hard for me too. I'm not going to look back saying goodbye. ABH Subculture Palette. Um... I want to keep this. I want to give it another few chances and see. I really did not like this at all. Sorry if, this, if the sun is kind of annoying. But um, I'm going to keep it. Give it another chance and see what's up. Okay. Next palette that I have here is the Urban Decay. Um, what is this? This is the... I don't even remember. It was part of the holiday collection. It's really cool. I'm going to put this in my kit. I think that there are really wonderful shades in here to throw on the lids. And it would look great on any client that I may have so kit it goes okay next palette that I have is the pure um little the little pony movie eyeshadow palette I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this it is really cute the shadows are like you know decently nice um I did create really nice looks with this but I think it's time to say goodbye so declutter okay what else what else uh, okay this this is the Urban Decay Vice eyeshadow palette this is one that I use quite a few times but I am going to go ahead and declutter this. I don't tend to use it too often. Sorry about the lighting. Um, it is stunning. And there's some really great lit shades in here. But I think somebody else would enjoy this more. So declutter. Wow, I'm so proud of myself. Okay. okay, so I close the shades. Hopefully it helps a little bit. But this is the Total Temptation palette by Maybelline. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I think about this. I don't know. I'm going to keep it for now though. Keep it. Too Faced Chocolate Chip Palette. I'm keeping this for the packaging. I really hate this palette, but keeping it for the packaging. It's one that I just want to keep in my life. I have the Festival, Life's a Festival Eyeshadow Palette by Too Faced. This is one that I recently purchased. I didn't have a major chance to actually do That's why it's still in its box, but it's so freaking cute. I think it would really create really fun, mystical, beautiful, um, summery vibe looks, you know? So keeping this child right here. Um, I have this Urban Decay Palette Distortion Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I'm going to put this in my kit, I think. I don't even think I use it. So, yay me. So, kit it goes. I have this Clarins Little Quad. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. That's how the palette looks on the inside. It's pretty much your greens. Great for like the winter. Um, Wet n Wild Palette. I'm going to give this to one of my friends. 
Um, it was okay. I used it a nice amount of times and not into it anymore. So, friend, it goes. I have both of these Morphe palettes. This is the 35R palette. I don't have a ton of like big ass Morphe palettes. I was into it for some point at, at some point, but I didn't find the need to get every single one, you know. Okay, hello. Are you like opening? Or not. Um, I don't tend to use these palettes often, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my kit. I think it would be good for that. We'll see if I actually end up using these shades. And this is the 35F palette, which has like rosy tone shades. Yeah, this was my first one that I purchased from them. That's how the palette looks. So this is gonna go in my kit as well. Okay, MAC palette. I filled this up, I remember. I have some pretty iconic shades in here. This is one of my first MAC shades. I don't know, one second. I don't know about this one, you know what I'm saying? This is so nice. You know what, I'm gonna keep this for now, but it most probably will say goodbye by the next declutter. But I'm gonna keep it for now, okay? Then I have the Burgundy Bar Palette, which I recently reviewed. I do really like this and enjoy it. I wish there were more matte shades in here, but Hey, this shadow is like falling out. I don't know. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Now let me put everything in and see how much space. Okay, oh my god. Okay, oh my god. So much better. So much more spacious. I'm sure I can fit these in one of those other drawers, which I'll organize soon. But let's count and see how much I started with, how much I kept for myself, how much I put in my kit, and how much I um am decluttering slash trying to sell. Okay, so in total, I had 134 eyeshadow palettes. What the heck? The palettes that I'm gonna go ahead and keep are the stuff in this drawer, this drawer, and then this drawer as well. And that is a total of 60 eyeshadow palettes, ranging from drugstore, teenier palettes to, you know, bigger palettes and then high-end palettes as well. Then we have then we have this section right here, which are palettes that I'm gonna be giving away to just friends, just cause either it was sent to me, which was just the gorgeous palette, gorgeous cosmetics ones, and then the other one I don't feel comfortable selling. So um, that's just four. Here's my little area of products that I'm gonna go ahead and try to um, declutter or sell to you guys if you're interested. And this is a total of 53 palettes. And then I have a selection of these eyeshadow palettes, which I'm gonna be putting in my kit. And this is a total of 17 palettes. I think I did pretty well. Never in a million years did I expect to get rid of 53 palettes plus the other four, which is really 57. So I need a round of applause. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned if you're interested in purchasing any of the palettes I'm gonna be decluttering. Um, you can follow me on Instagram and we'll take it from there. I hope you guys enjoy this and I will see you in my next one.